he was lashing out at everything. And some of the key points, as he put in his video, from what little I've seen, are capitalism, uh, a culture of bullying, of um, he did what he did, he claimed, for the helpless, for the defenseless. And that uh, there's, a, there's an irony there that causes most of us to just disconnect. Well, that's just irrational. And it is, it is irrational, but how do we define rationality? It's through our culture. And anyways, we, we need to connect. And it's not, it's not by talking to the police about people we think are dangerous. Certainly, if you see a threat, you should re try and resolve it in the best way your intuition tells you to. But listen, don't start applying these um, rules of morality that are handed down by the powers that be. I'm going to ask you, as from one aware being... To another and I choose those words carefully because for me that's the key my awareness I can connect with your awareness and together we can we can build we can affect each other's awareness and we can communicate and we can link those things so that our awarenesses are, are tied they're they've been you know we understand more about all of existence through our understanding of each other's awareness, and we need to we need to you know bring this stuff together. We we got to connect with each other, and it's not it's not so that we can find the problems and stop them, because we can't do that. The way our system is set up, we can't do that, and we can't reject people because they they seem to have some minor mental flaw when we can't tell exactly what combination of things will lead to somebody snapping like this and lashing out violently. But what we can do is each ourselves try and connect with other selves. Uh, we can try and slowly from all parts of the system create these connections that create a web, a web of humanity that ties us all together. And by strengthening those bonds one at a time, you know, one interaction at a time, one chance, and Ian, I am in agreement with you about this. We need to be more open with everyone. If we can talk to strangers that we meet, we should. And, you know, I was walking down to campus to do some filming uh, last time I went out, and I was set towards the Diag, walking along, but I was looking for people that I might be able to talk with. Now, I've realized I have a fear of approaching strangers with my video camera, um, which I'll have to deal with. But um, a guy stopped me and said, um, hey, do you have any change? Uh, and he was kind of a you know, bubbly panhandler, you know, happy, jovial. And I, I pointed out that I was wearing his pants, by coincidence, and I pointed out that I have a hole in my pocket. Um, it was the best excuse at the time as I was trucking along. Uh, and and he, he liked that. He liked that response. And I feel sorry that it was kind of misleading. Um, the real issue is that I feel bad about just handing people money when I own my own mother thousands of dollars and when at the same time... Um, you know, and the government for student loans, uh, when at the same time, uh, you know, there's change in my pocket. But I don't feel like it's really mine. And I can't, in good conscience, give it to a stranger when I don't know what what he's going to do with it. Um, I don't, I don't want to support a crack habit or something. Um, and really what I should do is get to know the guy, you know, or offer to take him to a coffee shop to get him a bagel or something. I don't know. But anyways, his response to that was <laughs> jovial. 
it was laughter. And he actually, he kind of, I was kind of walking along and he kind of stopped me just by grabbing my shoulder. Um, and it was completely warm and friendly. And he kind of pulled me towards him, kind of gave me a half hug, like from behind the shoulders, put his other hand on his other shoulder. And while laughing, I didn't understand him well, but his response was, to, to the humor of that, that, uh, you, you know, you got a pocket where you, that you lose your change through. And I think what happened is we actually connected. I think he understood that I was afraid of giving him money um, because I didn't know him. And his response was to pull me in and to laugh about my lie. Um, you know, he, and, you know, I'm, I'm reading a lot into what his response, but... You know, he, he kind of pulled me in and he kind of called me on what I was saying and said, yeah, you got to be careful of that. You got to start using a different pocket for your change, you know. And I, I keep I keep putting change into that packet and it falls through and I got to pick it up off the ground. Um, anyways. A culture of bullying, bullying, bullying.